Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, the fifth week of Lent. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. I can honestly say that for probably a good portion of my life, I've taken freedom for granted. Until I got old enough to talk to my father about, he fought in the Second World War. He wouldn't talk about it a lot. And as you see things time and time again, you look at these commercials on TV for these veterans that have lost limbs, and yet they've, they've done so much for us that you really stop and appreciate the freedom we have. So as we begin, let's reflect on the freedom we give to others. For the times we forgot how blessed we are, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, grant those you stir to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I have made. Whenever you hear the, tr the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments, otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, there is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God whom we serve can save us from a white hot furnace and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But, if any, but even if he will not, no, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and, some ha and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God, Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed. Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god, the word of the Lord. The responsorial song, glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Friends, may the Lord be with you. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, if you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have, been ens and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits a sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but a son always 
remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the father. They answered and said to him, our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, we were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Probably, Bobby, 10 years ago on retreat, the one guy given the retreat spoke about his brother. His brother had fought in Vietnam, and he mentioned about he and his brother went down to the, the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, D.C., and he said they were going through, and his brother was got a piece of paper and was and a pencil and was scratching to put uh, some of the names on this piece of paper of guys he had been POW with. And there were some other guys there, obviously, looking at this memorial, and they overheard, he overheard these two guys talking. And the one guy turned to the other guy and said, have you forgiven your captors yet? And the guy said, hell no, I'll never, ever, ever forgive our captors. I'll never forgive the Viet Cong for what they did to me and, and these guys here. Never, ever forgive them. And he said, I was kind of understood as best as I could why he felt so angry and so hurt. But the other guy, who had also been a POW, turned to him and said, well, then I guess they still have you in prison, don't they? And you know, God, that's so true. Our anger, our hatred, those unfair things that happen in life, they can keep us prisoners. A friend of mine has a saying that um, we rent space up here and sometimes the people you rent space to, the things you rent space to, you have to evict unhealthy tenants so that you can redo your space up here and rent it to people that are healthy. So I'd ask you to, hopefully one of those stories speaks to you because it certainly speaks to me. God bless. For the people we are called to forgive and for the people that need to forgive us, we pray. For children, they may see examples of faith in us, we pray. For the sick, especially for the terminally ill, we pray. For the people in the Ukraine, we pray. For peace in our world, in our country, in our lives and in our homes, we pray. God our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to truly bless us through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our benefit of God's holy church. Receive, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to honor your name and grant that they become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us 
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Eugene Menchi Sr., Marilyn Fessler, Anne Brannan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. The Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good day, everyone.